to, um, I mean, like playing against them is, is super stressful. So I, I can understand that top level, like, if it's I mean, just I like hate not, playing against those times. Yeah, so. it's, not, it's not fun <laughs> in the terms of how stressful it is. But we're not even playing in ice climbers. Do you think there's true. any ice climbers left in Bracky other than Damling who lost? Yeah, so no ice oh. climbers left. So let's talk about Falco Sheik. Classic matchup. One of my favorite in the game. Yeah. What'd you like mm. about it? I just love that the back and forth, like the way that um, Sheik can kind of like play around the Falco options, and then um, yeah, they both have really cool punish games on each other. Yeah. I appreciate it's a bit slower as well. Yeah. Like all the, the both but characters have really quick moves, so yeah. they can do a lot. But none of them are like blisteringly in your face. Yeah, I, which is I a nice agree, like yeah. break from it. As cool as it is, you can appreciate what's happening on a more. Right. Yeah, I, I feel like Edge Guard and Falco is just super fun as she because of. Mm. Ooh, nice little nether. Uh The whole game as well, like how um, the Sheik deal with uh, Falco pressure, um, with like Nair's out of shield and and wave dashes, buffer rolls is like it's it's really interesting to see. Um, and oh. I think it's a big aspect of like who who ends up winning each match is like how well they deal with the different um, Falco options on shield. Uh, I feel like Sheik's one of the best characters to deal with uh, Falco shield pressure. Yeah. In general. Yeah, um, yeah, I can see that. Uh, just because of having such a big shield and having a three frame drop score, meaning that it, you can like wave dash off shield, you can nair off shield. A lot of, a lot of good options to deal with uh, the different things that uh, Falco can do. Mm. Ooh. So the first thing that I saw yeah. during one of Frenzy's edge guards is he grabbed ledge, immediately dropped down shine, and then got on stage. And yeah. it was like way before Armsa was in a position to get hit by any of it. Yeah. So I'm wondering if Frenzy may have to slow it down. Yeah, you don't want to like show your cards straight away as well yeah. like, on the recovery. Yeah, for sure. Because I think one big aspect of the edge guard is kind of, especially against Falco, is like kind of understanding the That's kind true. of things yeah. they're like comfortable with going for. The, mm. the, if they go low, if they go high, if they shine stall, if they double jump early, if they jump back, things like that. And uh, if you're kind of going to give your, your high commit options early, uh, give away kind of what you like to go for early, then um, it could work out badly for Frenzy overall, but mm. we'll see. I'm still looking super solid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think Frenzy as a player, like, nice. even in my own experience playing him, I think one of his, um, one of the, in the areas where he's most predictable is that he yeah. almost always wants to hit you. And you can right. feel it. <laughs> you can feel him, like, itching. Yeah, you can feel oh, him wow. reaching sometimes. Oh. Oh, oh that spot dodge. It's because he's not an up he's not an up character. Ross. He's not an up character. Didn't get the up. <laughs> nice. nice. Okay. Brings it back to two stocks. I mean Falco Sheik, the punch game is actually super good for Falco. Like you can combo Sheik to yeah. like really high percents and then get get an edge guard. How uh, badly is it affected by PAL? So I, I actually Frenzy a lot of the time has been posting more and more about NTSC power differences with Falco. Yep. He almost exclusively plays NTSC now. Uh, he does. He's they play. In I don't think in he in ever Bristol. plays power, like in practice. Really, um, he he just kind of deals with it. <laughs> yeah. I, I know that the late dare can be CC grabbed. Um, yep, it can. Things like that. I saw a effect. clip of him against Prof, where he got zero to death after. Oh, well, a CC or grab of uh, yeah. I don't uh, think it was a grab. A I think approach. it may have been like run up smash or okay. something. Oh. <laughs> Threads the needle there and uh, gives himself a fighting chance. Ooh. It just feels a bit quick. Yeah. I mean, it might be it might be more because um, he's afraid of Sheik's forward air. Yeah. Just like jump up forward air and just smack him off and kill him. So right. he's just like getting off the ledge as quickly as he can. Yeah, slightly antsy, but um, should be able to clean this up. She got one more chance to make nice. it back, but Frenzy cleans up. Very yep. good. Still in this. A lot of times you kind of see uh, Fre Frenzy actually said himself that he struggles a lot when the other character comes down and has invincibility. Uh, yeah. He's really he. One of his main weaknesses he thinks is that like he struggles in between stocks, and I think Sheik is one of the best characters to come down. They have such such good moves, nair, yeah. bear, fair to catch stray hits with. Yeah. We and, were talking uh, yeah. during the um, dark set about yeah. how. Uh, when Fog is at high percent, that doesn't actually benefit Doc too much because a lot of his combos fall apart. But I don't think that applies to Sheik at all. Yeah, right. Sheik stuff works very well when right. their opponents well, are high yeah, percent. There's, there's things you can do when they're at high percent. Yeah. Yeah, that still kind of link up. Yeah. You just got great 
great moves. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a good character. She takes. Uh, I love those lasers, actually. Like when you just shoot the one that's really high, land with the low one, yeah. and it's like you never actually intended to hit anyone with that high <laughs> laser. <laughs> right, yeah. Ooh. Oh, baby. Strong start. I feel like he's just being a bit antsy when he grabs ledge. He just yeah. runs up and grabs ledge. I, it doesn't feel like he's timed it very well. There you go. Maybe he's Maybe used to not having it. to because of the five. Yeah, five, right. You know, crystal. I think FD is like a is a good pick here. One one thing that you saw Amster doing really well is like maneuvering the, around the platforms. Yeah. Uh, FT obviously um, he doesn't have that kind of option, and uh, you have to commit a lot more with jumps and things like that. And just the fact that um, you have to play a bit more grounded, and when you do jump, it's, it's such a big commitment that uh, makes it harder for Sheik to mix up timings and things like that. Yeah. And, oh, oh, 13%. Slight smile from uh, Frenzy, but yeah, obviously he'll be a bit disappointed with that. But you know how it is, all men must die. <laughs> no, not wrong. Frenzy, notoriously a Game of Thrones fan. I'm sad he's not wearing his hoodie. Uh, but yeah, everybody has to use something you gotta deal with sometimes. If he keeps his head straight, he'll 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 win this game. Uh, he seems to be like back this. in. Yeah, like yeah. He's, he's, he's not he's dominating possible. really well here. Like his combos are really strong. Yeah, I not think this is where um, yeah, uh, Frenzy's like aggro in your face style, really throwing as many off. moves is like yeah. helping him. Yeah, yeah. And Arms is more maybe more patient approach. I'm kind of going off what Frenzy said. Yeah, they haven't really been. Um, wow, these needles are great. Very good needles, yeah. Frenzy makes it back. Nice. Wave dash out showed up to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, always, always pull back. Oh, yeah. One <laughs> move away from doing a nutty do. combo. But, I, uh, I strongly read that uh, roll in as well. <laughs> but Arms is one step ahead of both of us. <laughs> Falco's recovery is so tricky. Yeah. Just looks oh, like it wouldn't. That's it. Yeah. That's definitely it. Yeah. Arms still has a chance. I think when you're chic with full needles, a stock can go like just like that. But uh, frenzy, poised to take this and uh, take it to a game three. Ooh, missed up smash. You don't really see that. Okay, I'm so clawing back some momentum now. Uses an F smash to just run away. Right, big fan. Chic off stage. What can he do? Ooh, great little wave land on. Oh, but the slide off. Double jump, fast fall down there. Oh, uh, nice from Frenzy there. <laughs> I remember seeing move. Mango about something like that. It's just like, yeah. it may look silly, but it's actually, what, if, if you it. miss, what is he going to do? Right, yeah. Falco's oh, definitely getting God. to the ground faster. Solid stock, and it's last stock now. One hit will do it for Frenzy, but, you know, anything can happen. Oh, oh you're no. actually a maniac. Oh, my God. Gets the slow get up, and that saves Frenzy. Almost lost it there. I thought Alistair was reaching and just trying to uh, pray okay. that he was just going to miss. Should be a punish here. Oh, wow. Great. Nice, nice recovery. recovery. Yeah, there it is. Gets in there. Head shake. Frenzy not happy. Bit of slop, but he Frenzy's manages to take it. Frenzy's a head shaker. Frenzy's definitely a head shaker. Is he? Yeah. He is, yeah. See it all the time. But uh, he needs to take a breath. He took the game. He still mm. played well. His combos were fine. Yeah. He got a bit antsy towards the end as he got close, but uh, yeah. Doing all right. And they go to Battlefield. Yeah, a lot of people say like Power Feels like the ultimate neutral stage and things like that, but I feel mm -hmm. like in a lot of matchups, especially for Falco, like Sheik, Falcon, things like that, I feel like they actually oh, prefer. That was, awesome. that was so cool. <laughs> uh, Battlefield, yeah, that was actually super sick. I love it when people do these extensions on, yeah. with, the, with the bears on the platform. Super sick. Ooh. Shield dropping is the best thing that happened to Melee. <laughs> it is so cool. Technically, it was there at the start. Imagine being at 2001 and just shield dropping everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. That'd be pretty nuts. I feel like, like, there's such a huge amount of players now that if they just went back in time, right? It would just there's definitely that blow the minds of right. like. There's definitely that Beyond the Summit set where like yeah. this random mid-level player goes back and farms in the f in the far future. They were like, <laughs> uh, time travel is invented and mid-level player goes to 2004 to farm or whatever. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, oh, nice. Great upper. Man, Frenzy's looking smooth now. His combo is really not letting Amster get anything. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice, nice choice to dare there instead of going for a back air so he could extend the combo. Nice. That looks so clean. Yeah. And that was a little harder than it looks. Like getting the... I think he did like a... I can't remember what movie did, but he was right in the corner of the top platform. So then he had to run off it, right. shoot the laser, and then convert it into an S smash without like getting caught on the platform. Right, yeah. Narrowly avoids that. Wow, Frenzy is just kind oh. of bodying Amsa right now. He's so quick. Oh. Man. <laughs> oh, wow, Falco's shine range is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. He shined like literally right next to him. And uh, it still didn't hit. That's actually quite funny. Uh, but yeah, still really, really big lead at the moment. Similar to what he would have had on FD if he didn't SC so early. So kind of keeping up Very where nice. he was. Two stock lead. I felt like not the DI that I was just going for at all. But he all was right. high percent, so I think he was going off stage either way. Ooh. Nice little fair there. I think I that's another thing that go on. another thing that I think Frenzy particularly good at is just like finding the right moves to always extend something. Yeah. Just like as little as he can, he's just like, oh, right. this won't reach, but definitely get this off. Yeah. Yeah. Great shine there. That was but a great shine. Yeah. Ready for every option. <laughs> he almost dropped that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Little breather. Rushing himself. I like it. Frenzy looking so solid, but you can never count Amsa out. He's literally the comeback master. I want to see a Frenzy just like keep him in the corner now. Like both times, I felt like he overextended and then Amsa got yeah. out, and now all this oh. has happened. Yeah, Falco stocks can go like nothing. Oh my god, really well done by Amsa. Brings it to last stock. Frenzy had a two stock lead. Yeah, and now it's at last stock. He only took like he took like fifteen percent. Yeah, and Amsa took the whole doable. stock. Nice. Man. Okay, gets him off stage. What can Amsa do here? Yeah. Okay, one more of those probably. I haven't seen Amsa go straight up yet. Yeah, I feel like that kind of that beats roll. I he think, knows right? he can live. Okay, yeah. yeah. Three back airs, rinse and repeat. Frenzy two one out. Uh, he he built up such a good lead at the start of each game that kind of Amsa's late pushes mm. uh, as as he kind of got back into the flow of things, kind of brought his composure back, uh, yep. weren't enough. And uh, is that a switch? That the, no. that's the thing as well because like <laughs> frenzy, it was it was the, like the last two games. Right. First game was really close, but didn't quite make it. Yeah. The next two games were just like yeah. strong. His combo game just his combo game just really took off. Mm. Uh, it was, Impressive. And Frenzy never beat an answer before. Never uh, been answer. Could get his second elite European win within a week uh, after being prof at Nangus Regionals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good yeah. job, Frenzy. One game away. Um, yeah, I'm still taking his It would time certainly here. make for an interesting um, Ice Frenzy. I don't think I've seen that. No. Yeah. And he's got frenzy like that practice really wants for to it. play Ice. As well. Yeah. Uh, nice. He lost the jump, I think. Oh, that was either Frenzy jump. I think he needed a break there to get his composure back. Ooh. Ooh. My god. Oh my Frenzy god. Frenzy is so good. Sorry. I was just super hyped. Wow, he smashed the that up. To get out of the jab. So he doesn't get reset and instead gets the reversal. Frenzy's looking so good. Ooh. Man, he's easy dominating Focus. Amsa right He's now. looking stoic. Smooth. Oh. That's always a good sign. When, like, a mistake is made. Yeah. And you respond to the mistake you made so quickly that it's fine. And you don't get any, like, yeah. fussed by it at all. It doesn't take you out of the game. Exactly. But, like, Amsa wasn't, didn't punish it. And, like, Frenzy immediately recognized that. It's like, no, I'm fine. Yeah. This continues. Love a good tilt. Man, man he's looking so smooth. You but can just tilt? see the fruits of his practice. I've seen him on Uncle Punch, like, practicing combos, extensions against Sheik, like, non-stop. And uh, he's, he just looks so smooth on platforms. Punish is really smooth. That was really good as well. Armsa went for a, um, like, a fair right after that hit. Yeah. Try, I think, reading the uh, shield drop. Yeah. Frenzy 
figures it out. Figures like, oh, I can still be hit here. Don't shield drop yet. Right, yeah. Ooh, really nice grab from Amsa. That should be the stock, but Frenzy makes it back. Okay, good in there. Ooh. Good read. Wow. Nice. Ooh, slightly versus. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that, I think, uh, you know how they say double laser from the ledge is not safe? I'm familiar with the saying. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I feel I, like that's I, come up a few times. <laughs> how unsafe would uh, double laser away from <laughs> ledge be? <laughs> <laughs> like the, there's nothing. There's there. got to be one scenario where You're just where jumping it's safe. <laughs> very slowly up with nothing covering <laughs> you. Maybe the sound is like enough to scare people off. <laughs> that yeah. looked. I, I want to believe that was intentional. Like friends is like I'm at zero percent. So if he tries to town smash me here, I can just yeah. Or at least at least it looked like he knew that he was actionable and could punish that. Exactly. That was very quick. Man, he's just so ready for each option that Amster takes and. I can't see Amsa bringing this back. Oh, I like that. that oh, oof. Frizzy just looks like such a, just looks like the better player. Which is crazy to say, really. Yeah. But maybe he just is at this point. He's though. put in the time. Maybe He's paid his dues. He's paid his dues. Maybe Ooh. just maybe beating Prof, yeah. taking a tournament with Prof at the Nangas Regionals <laughs> was exactly what he needed. Yeah, exactly. Man, super cool lasers. I love the double, the, I mean, the double needle from uh, Amsa to get the edge guard. Uh, um, he's on the ropes here, and that could be it. Ooh. That's, is that playing it? so well. Especially, like, a little bit earlier, had had Amsa in the corner, but was, like, moving so well. Whoa, him in. takes it. Sorry. He takes it. I got really excited. No, that's cool. <laughs> it what was an exciting saying? moment. What were you saying? Sorry. Did I? There, was, there was a point. Um, where he had an answer at the ledge and he was just doing loads of like really nice tight movement. Yeah. Not overextending. Yeah. Like I was saying that I felt like he was doing in the first game, but in that he was like so in the zone yeah. and so in control. Held that space. Right. Beat him up. Yeah. It was good. Man. Good. Frenzy. Stuff frenzy. Top five European wins. Top six European wins in a week. <laughs> maybe, maybe taking another one. To be honest, if he can be anyone, I think he's so happy that he's playing Ice and not Triff or Prof. Yes. Like, of anyone in Top A, I think he, he's been playing with Prof every week. He's so solid in the Fox matchup now. Mm. Even just for, like, variety. Yeah. So it's probably so refreshing to play someone different, yeah. right? Who's, like, of that amazing. kind of echelon, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah man. That's so exciting. exciting stuff.